YouTube, Who Day Bengals 23, um, Sunday morning, just hanging out at the crib, just got back from, uh, breakfast, and, um, I went to a, uh, comic book store yesterday when I got out of work with my wife and my little one, and, um, my other daughter was at my parents' house for the weekend, and I picked up, um, I, I've been downgrading, downsizing my collection, I've been getting rid of a lot of main lines and stuff, and I, uh, I, I still love Hot Wheels, but I've been getting into G.I. Joe's. Um, that was another childhood um, love of mine, um, was G.I. Joe's. And I've been starting to collect them again. And I picked up this skid mark from 1988. And I picked up this Viper from 1986. I actually had this guy when I was a kid. Pretty cool. And then I got um, Iceberg from 1986. I think I had him also. All the weapons are included also. Um, so they're complete figures. Um, I got Rock Viper, which is really cool. He's from 1990. So I was about 10 when he came out. I think I stopped playing with action figures when I was like 12. Um, Mercer from 1987. This is real cool. My wife picked him out. And then, one of my favorites is uh, Dreadnought Torch, um, 1985. I paid a little, a little pricey, but um, he's complete and he's in mint condition. It's pretty sweet. And then, um, I got one on card. This is from 1992. This is Bazooka, mint on card. I love the card art. I'm going to buy more of these on card and display them. Once I get my man cave going, when I move into my new house. And then my wife loves Ninja Turtles, and um, I bought her Splinter. These are the original ones from 1988, mint condition. I got uh, Michelangelo with his nunchucks, mint condition. Um, Leonardo. Also mint condition. I mean, that kid, I'm amazed how how perfect these things are for being um, almost you know 30 years old, 25 years old. Um, Raphael, and he's got his swords, and um, he's got this like dagger thing in the back on his shell. And then and I got Leonardo. He's got a broken sword, but that's okay. I could always get another one. I'll, I'll yeah, I'm sure. And then I got Shredder which is cool. And then I got a couple, uh, remember, I don't know if you guys remember the pizzas, and I got a couple extra weapons. And then um, I bought uh, Ultimate Warrior. I was a big Ultimate Warrior fan. Pretty sweet. Macho Man on one knee. There's Macho Man, and this is Ultimate Warrior. This is, uh, I forgot what fight it was, but um, that's them in the back. Really cool figure. Only paid six bucks for him. He's like fifty bucks carded, so I don't care. I, I want him loose anyway, so I'm glad I got that. And then um, I got one other cool little thing. I like mini figures, and um, this is from Series Eight, I believe. Um, and it's a football player, and he's holding a trophy, and his helmet goes up. Pretty cool. He's got his jersey on, number twelve. Awesome. And then, uh, Supers, um, I don't know if, yeah, I showed you guys this. I got one Super Tundra left. And then, um, I got the, uh, Camaro from Tom Paul Green. Came in the mail. So I'm happy to have that bad boy. Look at that. That is sweet. I'm not too impressed on the paint, though. I kind of wish the paint was a little better. Um, like, uh. I don't know, man. Like, more of a Spectra Flame look to it, you know? I don't know. But anyways, all right, guys. Thanks for watching my vid. Um, I'm going to be doing more G.I. Joe hauls. Um, and uh, I'm going to start showing you guys more vintage stuff. I got some stuff on the way. I got a couple red lines, a couple black walls. Um, once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the comments. I really uh, enjoy reading everybody's. And, um... I'm actually going to go work on um, Heathkin's custom. So, Heathkin, I'll be uh, contacting you soon. All right, guys. Peace.